Cantonese style steak, my favorite Chinese meal. I've got the recipe and I've got the method. So let's go, get yourself some beef. Now this is beef skirt, it's dead cheap. Half a kilogram cost me £5.50 and look how lean it is. The thing is you normally need to cook this for a long time to get it tender enough, but the Chinese have got it sussed and we're gonna use their method. And when it's done, it's gonna be as tender as fillet steak. Okay, so I'm cutting against the grain here and I'm cutting it into strips. And I'm placing them all into a bowl, ready to have the secret ingredient that is going to tenderise it. And it's not really a secret, I'm going to tell you. Right, bicarbonate of soda. So I'm going to put two heaps teaspoons in. And then to help spread it across the beef, I'm going to put some rapes, rapeseed oil in. Now you can use any neutral oil, just one that's not doesn't have too much flavour with it. Now get your hand in there, start squidging it about. You want to make sure it covers every bit of beef. And then you need to leave it to do its work. Take about 25 minutes to half an hour. So until then, boom. Now we're going to wash it back off. It's done its job, but we don't want the taste of it. So rinse it out. Might take two or three times under the tap, but keep going till your water's running clear and there's no oil on top. Then we're going to leave that to drain for 20 minutes. Yep, then I like mine spicy, so I've nipped out and I've, I've grabbed a chilli. Um, it's up to you if you use chilli or not. Now the marinade, a bit of garlic powder. I'm putting a teaspoon in, I like garlic. If you like it a lot, you can put two teaspoons in. If you're a vampire, don't bother, that'd be suicide. Right, soy sauce, light soy sauce, if it'll come out. Couple of teaspoons of that. Dark soy sauce. More than a couple of teaspoons of that. I like dark soy sauce. And it's um, it's got a really nice flavour as well. Secret ingredient two is the monosodium glutamate. MSG, give it a sprinkle. And then a bit of corn flour, that'll help thicken it up. If you've got no corn flour, potato starch should do the same trick. Then get your hand in and you monkey it all around again. Now... Just make sure every bit of steak gets a coating. And when you leave this, it's going gonna, it's gonna to soak into the meat. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Now, I've thrown the chilies in there. Now, depending how long you can leave it, it's up to you. You can leave it for a couple of hours, and it'll be nice. It'll be very nice. But if you can leave it overnight, leave it overnight. Well, the next stage is cooking it. So I've left mine overnight. And I've got my pan, I've used the neutral oil again, got the oil really hot, so the beef is sizzling as soon as it gets in the pan. Now you fertile it around a bit with your spoon, make sure it all gets browned, and then you can start adding your veg vegetables to the dish. Whichever vegetables you like, but I would, I would say definitely put onion in there to get the flavour we want. But after that, it's entirely up to you. I mean, the selection I've used here, you'll see, I've got some mushrooms, and um, these are just button mushrooms, if you can get shiitake mushrooms or some kind of oyster mushroom it'll look a bit more authentic but I, I like the taste of these there's some cashew nuts there that are toasted I just got normal cashew nuts from the supermarket and stuck them in the air fryer for five minutes worked fantastically a few red peppers a few bean sprouts now it's starting to um, get a bit dry now the pan so I'm going to put a splash more of the light and the dark soy sauce I'm also going to put a bit of um, hoisin sauce in because I do like it and it adds, adds a bit of depth. Uh, I used teriyaki last time. This time I thought I'd give this a whirl, so I'll let you know. But uh, it should work nicely. Okay, now it's cooking and all the juices are flowing. I'm going to put another little bit of MSG in and another secret ingredient. I'm going to put a teaspoon of sugar across it. Now this will make it all really sticky and gooey like it is in a Chinese restaurant. It's what they do. If you could smell this, it's like the smell that comes out of a Chinese kitchen. You know, when you're in a restaurant and something's cooking. And the last veggies is the spring onions. I always put them in last because I like them crunchy. So, here's a finished dish. I've put it into my, um, onto my hot skillet. Again, even more authentic restaurants like. Um, but how tender is that beef and what's the flavour like? Big thick piece there. Watch this. It just fell into my mouth. It, it, it's the most tender beef you're ever going to eat. It is absolutely fantastic. Now it's a bit of mucking about. 
but it's actually quite good fun making it and you'll be blown away by the end product 